Okay, how's it guys? Uh, I'm going to be doing uh, a peening, not demonstration, but I'm actually putting a knife together. I'm doing a Barlow uh, slip joint and I found that peening was probably one of the toughest areas for me to master and I just want to go through the steps of the way I do it. I'm sure there are many ways to do it, but uh, this is the way I do it and I'd like to share that with you guys. So let's get right into it. Okay, so what we have here is I've got three pins and these are obviously to pin the knife together. I first start, let me see if I can bring that a bit closer. I first start with uh, the two on the side here and this pin is different in that I've tapered the point a little bit more because that's for my, my center pin. It's, this, it's for this point over here, that's the last pin that I put in and I taper it a little bit more because that actually puts a little bit of stress on the spring it eventually stresses the spring to be in the spring position so it's got you'll see it's got more of a taper than the other than the other springs I hope that's in focus okay so we've got the three springs I've got the little bush this is the phosphor bronze bush I'm going to try and come right close and see if I can get some focus here uh, there. Okay, you can't really see it on the video, but I have marked it. I've put a little dot on the top there, so I've marked that bush, so I know which way the bush goes in and which way faces up. So I'll be making reference to that. Obviously, I've got the two scales. I've got the damasteel spring. And I've got some great uh, engraving on. I'll just see. Oh, oh it's too, too bright. There, you can just, just see it. My name is engraved there. I didn't... Uh, I put some nail polish on that area and then obviously I've got the absolutely gorgeous damas steel blade that's going to be going in. Okay, so I'm putting in the first pin, which is the pivot pin, and just pushed it through and give it a little bit of a clean and then I'll put in the rear pin and then I'll pop the spring in uh, to position uh, okay so that's it, that, that uh, spring is just going to be keeping the space in between the scales when I'm doing the front um, pivot so I'll put the bush on with the orientation correct the little uh, bush is correctly put in there now with that little mark that I've put on so I know exactly which way the, the pivot goes on and I'm starting to put this uh, together now, so I'll sandwich the spring in there. It's a nice tight fit, I'm, I'm happy with that. And uh, that looks good. So we'll go over and we'll, we'll start the peening process. So what, what I do first is I just put it quickly on the grinder, just to grind a little flat, flat uh, spot on the pin. I don't want to start peening a pointy pin so I'll just put it on the flat side I mean I'll, I'll grind it flat um, so it's square essentially um, I then mushroom the first side the show side uh, of the pin the pin over and I'll just keep uh, keep sort of mushing it over till I'm happy with it and then I'll punch it I'll punch the pin down quite hard so that it exposes the other side I then grind that side down to just about a millimeter uh, above the surface of where I want to finish it so the rule of thumb is about half the diameter of the pin that's how much you want sticking out before you uh, start pinning it so it's a 2.4 millimeter pin so we just want about a, a millimeter before we start pinning so yeah I'm pinning the the pivot I'm starting to feel now am I binding the blade not the bush should be able to keep the blade from binding but you can over peen it and it becomes very very stiff so um, what I'll what I'll do then I'll check it's nicely centered I'm happy with the, the pivot peening uh, I then also use the ball part of the hammer just to uh, peen uh, it over just to close the gaps because I'm using a shadow pivot now so I then start peening the back of the slip joint um, I'm happy with that so far and then what I'll do is I'll flip it around and I'll start pinning the other side so there I push the pin down now um, 
and then on the other side I have I done both sides I can't remember now yeah the, it was the correct length already I was happy with the length uh, I then just flipped it over and started peening the other side of the scale so there we go I'm happy uh, I then go and I get that center pin that I was talking about so it's got a little bit more of a taper in I insert it knock it through and now there's tension on the spring and now I should be able to check the action and see if it's it's feeling nice yeah I'm happy with that so again I just go to the grinder and get a little flat point or a, a flat a flat end on the uh, pin and I start peening it over obviously that you can make or break a lot of hard work when you're peening a knife so go slowly and go carefully so I'm just tapping it checking it tapping it and then I again push it through so that it's nice and secure on the one side um, I think I then show the camera that it's quite extended uh, it's quite long there uh, probably about three millimeters uh, sticking out I'll then there we go just about a millimeter and then I start peening that side um, now with this uh, particular case it um, yeah it it worked out quite nicely and this is okay the guys end. I was a little bit rushed at the end of the video um, that I was doing yesterday on, on peening but I just wanted to show the final product here um, so at the end of the day what you want to do is you want to end up with pins that are really nice and round sometimes they can get out of shape if you hit them too much on the one side so the pins are really nice and round there's no um, gaps so get some focus there there are no gaps in between your spring and your liners that should run all the way through over there that pin is keeping this gap nice and closed and the shadow pin over here is the main pivot pin uh, there's no gaps between the the pin and the, the shadow um, pivot and yeah it's all nice and closed so let's have a quick look at the knife um, here we go this is the bala this is a rag or hessian micarta this is black linen micarta uh, the knife looks absolutely awesome it's a damasteel blade let me just open it up for you guys so it's about an opening force of about uh, five or so I see my dogs in the background honey she's uh, also quite excited to be in the video uh, there we go gorgeous damascus steel blade I haven't put an edge on it yet um, I don't know if you can see in there I'm just going to try and show there you can see just in the middle there uh, I put some nail polish on there when I was etching the blade uh, and the spring uh, the spring should I say and then I put my my logo in there because I didn't want it on the on the uh, damascus steel not really so prominent but it came out beautifully in there um, yeah that's the knife it looks absolutely awesome in my opinion uh, closing closes so nicely really nice walk and talk on this knife you just give it a clips beautifully into place and it's absolutely dead centered there uh, looks looks great uh, spring flush in all positions uh, yeah that's it damascus steel baller